And first tonight, a student athlete's high hopes cut down by a bully. Good evening, I'm Rob McCartney. I'm Brandi Peterson. 18 year old Tyrus Harris is in critical condition tonight after a drive by near 38th and Boyd last night. In tonight's big story, we're learning more about Harris's passion on and off the football field. KATV News Watch 7's Christina Engdahl is live. One of Tyrus Harris's lesser known talents is his ability to work with children. In fact, he had a job here at the Hope Center doing just that. Now, the people who worked with Harris and consider him family are just hopeful. This driven and talented young man will pull through. It takes a special person to work at the Hope Center, where every day hundreds of kids come for dinner or help with homework. Staff say mentors like Tyrus Harris make this place special. It wasn't just a job for him. He really loved what he was doing, you know, when he was here. Pastor Edward King tells me in the classroom, Harris had a talent connecting with kids, a devoted tutor and friend. I wish you could have seen him. Over there with the kids, the kids loved the little kids loved him because he just had a, a great way of interacting with them and that kind of thing. Harris came to the Hope Center as a student and enrolled in their Job Skills Academy, a success story that even landed his picture on the front of their brochure, surrounded by people who admire him. Tyrus is one of those kids that, you know, if you could say, hey, the ideal role model kid. This kid exemplified all of what you would want. But King says Harris is also a talented student and athlete, a football player with Omaha North 2014 state champions. Now he's out of the game after Monday's shooting. King says seeing Harris in that hospital bed broke his heart. He was trying to talk. You know, we were trying to tell him, you, know, you don't have to talk. We just want to let you know that, hey, we all love you and we're thinking about you and we're here for you. Here at the Hope Center, where Harris's strengths were leadership and dedication. His friends hoping that strength will save his life. We're here. We want to be a support. You know, we just, and most definitely, we're praying that everything would work. As bad as things are, we, we're just praying that everything would work itself out. Now, tonight, Tyrus Harris's family had no comment for us, but Omaha police are still looking for whoever shot him. If you know anything, call Crime Stoppers. That number is 402 444 STOP. Reporting live near 20th and Lake, Christina Engdahl, KETV News Watch 7. Christina, thanks. Two more crime.